We have four different spotters in this lineup and two different models. We've got the E3 and the E6. We'll look at the E3 first. So the E3 is a 3D4 core, 12 micron processor, and we've got two versions. We've got 35 mil version, which is this one, the E3 Max, and a 25 mil version, which is the E3 Plus. They both will record, they've got eight gig of internal memory, Wi-Fi, so you can stream uh, from the device from the spotter to a mobile device, which for modern gamekeepers not wanting to leave the comfort of their truck is absolute godsend. You can still keep the heated seats on, guys. Um, these are IPX7 waterproof rated, so they'll go on the gimbal on the roof as well. Cool feature on these is we have a laser pointer. So once your designated shooter has shot it, you can point to where he's got to go and send him off to retrieve it worth remaining on your heated seats if you're a modern gamekeeper. <laughs> now, <laughs> the focus is adjusted at the front and a really cool thing is the ocular adjustment has clicks, so it's nice and steady, which means that all the, all the widgets and everything that is on the display remains nice and crisp. So this one's coming in at 1,880 pounds. For that, you're gonna 35 mil front lens. 384 core a 12 micron processor with the ability to record and not forgetting we've got the laser pointer for steering your mate and teasing the farmyard cat with so then moving on to the e6 so the e6 is almost like the bigger brother it's a 640 core uh, 12 micron processor has all the same features so wi-fi recording you've got your four different color palettes you've also got the laser pointer this is the E6 Pro, it's a 50mm front lens. This thing's got a detection range of 2700 meters, so 2.7K, and it's stunningly accurate. High definition display at the eyepiece, and one of the cool things across all the IRA products is, as well as having your traditional color palettes, white hot, black hot, rainbow colors, this has a highlight mode which keeps the, all of the background at a fairly low light level and then the hottest objects in the, in the image really pop out nice and bright and it makes it very, very easy for you to spot your quarry. With the quality of the image that this gives you, it means a positive ID of the quarry is really, really easy.